Welcome back. We're going to talk about our pickups at Siege, our very first game convention. We arrived Thursday night, so on Friday we got to go hang out with a couple other people. Yeah, Brandy Gamer Amer. She took us to Toy Federation, so we're calling this pickup day zero. You're calling it day zero. I'm calling it day zero. There were so many cool things at Toy Federation. Any number of things we could have bought. Yes. Honestly. This one caught my eye and it didn't even catch my eye. It caught Scott's eye. Big Daddy! Big Daddy. So you literally finished Bioshock, what, maybe a few weeks before going to Siege? Or uh, probably a month? month, two months yeah. before. I had made a painting for Steve Craig Retro Games, who we got to meet, and his wife Leanne will talk about our experience in another video. But it kind of prompted me to want to play the game, and when Scott saw this, I had to have it. Now, this is heavy because it is all metal. If you take it in your carry on, it will get flagged and they will open your bag with all your games in it and possibly not let you take it. But she did. So here's the story on that. Her bag's coming down the conveyor belt. She pulls it off. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. I'm like, it's just video games, video games. And she's like, uh-huh. And so she takes it to the side and opens it up. And like, I have everything, all my games packed in there with clothes and everything's yeah. nice and tight. So nothing's going to get broken. She didn't respect my packing job at all. So <laughs> this was in a box with my pickup also. So she opens up the box and she sees that and she's going like this and she's like, well, it's like a figure or a toy. And she's like, well, it looks it looks okay to me. I'm like, okay, oh, so we're fine. She's like, yeah, I think so. And so just wait a second. I'm gonna mess with my wife. <laughs> so I stick my head around the corner. And I say, Jen, your big daddy figure? We can't take it on the plane, you're gonna have to leave it. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was ready to cry. I mean, it was what it was. If we weren't able to take it, I wasn't gonna cause a big fuss over it. I wanted to, but with the amount of troubles we had had on that day flying home, if that's what it meant to get home, that's she, what it meant. She didn't get that I was messing with you for fun. She was like, don't do that, don't. Wait, yeah, yeah, don't, she don't didn't, do that. She has very dry, <laughs> very dry sense of humor or none whatsoever. Anyways. So the only thing I picked up at Toy Federation, yeah. and the only reason I bought it was because I didn't want Jen to feel well, like she was spending money early or whatever. Like, nobody likes to drink alone, they don't like to buy stuff alone, so. To be honest, if it had been on the last day and we had money left over, I would have jumped quicker. I it was, was the very fact that we didn't cautious. get to the yeah. convention yet, so. Yeah, but Bring anyway, got. I got myself a GoBot, so. I don't Basically, know. just to help Jen feel better, better about her purchase. Yeah. Do you remember <laughs> what it's called? Uh, I think he's Leader One, okay. something along that line. And it's if been we're wrong, forever since I've seen GoBots, and I don't know how to find them to watch them. So if you know where I can go and watch it or stream it or whatever in the comments, let yes, me know. Yes, and if it's not Leader One, I'm sure you'll let us know let in know. the comments yeah. as well. Boom, day zero. Or, as Scott likes to call it, so far, Friday. she spent more money. I feel like on day one, was off to a little bit of a rocky start because we were overwhelmed. We need to see everything. We need to see everyone. And we want to go to everybody's panel that we cared about. That like We were on the floor <laughs> early because we had early access. Not to very waiting. early. We had party too much the night before. We stayed up too late. I we was were fine. at Pinkies. We were at Pinkies and fine. we closed down the bar. So we were tired. I wasn't hungover. Anyways, all the time. I only picked up two d games on day one. <laughs> I picked up a few more. Yes. So I got. Let me see. I got this one. It's a VR game. It's PS4. Um, if you're French and I'm pronouncing this wrong, let me know in the comments. Uh, <laughs> get us in. I think that's what it's called. It gave me like very survival horror -y kind of vibes. Truth be told, I don't know too much about it. It just looked cool. And that's kind of how... cool as the... Because you've seen the, the game there or you've actually seen gameplay of it? I looked at the back of it and the front of it and it looked cool. Oh. And I bought it and it was $20. So, yeah. That's how I buy games, folks. You know, we went with a list. We had a list of prior, that was not on prior, list. prioritized games that I need to find because I can't find them around here. You just went willy-nilly. I've never <laughs> seen that game around here. That's why I picked it up. Oh. I was looking for Down the Rabbit Hole on VR, and it's that. a PAL game. I couldn't find it, so I kind of opted to get that because I like to add to that PS VR collection. You might as well do your your other yeah. pickup. So I didn't want any sealed games because they're not staying sealed. 
And I was looking for Curse of the Moon, the first one, but I've been striking out on that one being overpriced all day. Because so, they were all sealed, too. Yes. Now, this is a two-player game, which I thought was very cool. And I've played Blood Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, and this one was a must-grab. Mm -hmm. Now, it's more... I would compare it to more like a Super Nintendo kind of style, graphics-wise, graphics yeah. wise, than Bloodstained Ritual of the Night was. But I'm still very excited to play it. I can't wait to get jump back into that world. It was really fun. So I know they're on PS4 as well, but I found them on Switch. I didn't see any of them on PS4. I didn't see any of them either. I think they're a little bit harder. So coming. that was your pickups for day one. Day one. I got so almost nothing. We kept running into people for the, for the first time. And yeah. we just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. All of a sudden, I'm looking at my watch. First panel we want to go see is starting in like an hour, hour and a half. I and know. I'm like, I didn't buy anything yet. And we had our day planned out for panel yeah. after panel after panel. Like we went four to four, hours. four yeah. hours worth of panels because we want to go and support the community and support our friends who we talk to all the time on YouTube. First game I bought was Tales of Abyss. Yes. For that PS2. one wasn't expensive. I think you paid 40 you usually keep stickers. Jen likes to hide stickers. Don't you don't keep know. a sticker. You paid thirty dollars for Tales of Abyss. I think they want it thirty-five. Thirty-five, they want it. So yeah, that's one that I've been looking for. I don't see it around here, but wanting to play it. Um, I knew I, I pretty much knew I was gonna find it there because uh, the Friday yeah. we were allowed to go in and get our passes. And Austin told us, go take a walk around while everybody's setting up. And yeah. I just, I happened to see it on the shelf and I'm like, okay, I kind of have an idea where I'm going the next day. Yeah, exactly. Then in the next vendor, I had to bundle three games together, was it? Ease, I can never pronounce it. There the are a couple names. Of nepotism. Hey. I keep wanting to say nepotism, but Nepo I know it's no, not it's nepotism. Neptishtim. 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 <laughs> So I still have the sticker in that. It has fifty nine ninety nine, but I I bundled the three. And then uh, Breath of Fire three. Yeah. Is another big one. Um, I have Breath of Fire four already in the collection. I've been looking for this for a couple years. I know. Couldn't find it. Case is all cracked, but it's not that bad shape. The disc yeah. is in really good shape. So yes. is the manual. Um, and I'll we just should replace say, the case. We tried all these games. And everything they works. All work they them. all work. And then the other one I got at that vendor was Thousand Arms. Mm -hmm. PS1. So, also complete. Two discs. Yes. Oh, is it not complete? It's not complete! What's not complete? This. What do you mean, not, what's not complete? I thought there was a manual in here, but there's not. Oh! <gasps> not complete! What the dude? Right? That's gonna burn my ass. How did I miss that? I have no clue. Right? Either way. I want to play it. Yeah, and we don't see it around here. So that was the catalyst for buying any of these, was games we don't see often, so we bought yeah. them. You paid two seventy five for that lot. For the whole lot. For the whole lot. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's not that bad. That's not bad. So that was day one, and uh, day two felt like panic shooting out my ass because we didn't find the game. I literally... Bum, Jen. Bum. I literally didn't find anything really that was on my list. Neither one of those were on my list. So I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Scott got more off his list than I got off mine. Oh. My list started getting modified. Okay. So what you picked up and then what you missed out because you you were really looking for something. Yes. You find it. Now, this one, I passed on day one because I had the PS4 version written down, which was cheaper. I went back, it sealed. It was on my list, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. So now I have them both. And uh, they wanted 125 and I'm not planning on keeping it sealed. So I was like, could you work with me a little bit? Just let me know if this is like too aggressive an offer. Can you take 100? And I, I'm probably, I'm Canadian, I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> she said, sure, no problem. So I got that. I didn't pick up the last one of this. So I'll bring them both at once. Both at the same time. But, I did get Shadow Hearts and Shadow Hearts Covenant. <sighs> there is one thing. No manual. No manual. Now, here's the thing. Here's the funny part of that story is we we had looped the yeah. the venue uh, multiple times and hadn't seen anything. And then I was literally yes. asking every vendor. And then finally, this was like 
behind yeah. the roof. So, of course, there after... There was multiple copies of this one. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but, but of course, like, like when when I did find that, you had already wandered away, and I had to send Dennis yeah. and, and Mundane. I said, "Go get Jen, go get her, go get her now." Tell her to get her ass back here. Yeah, so we bought, we got that. Ended up buying this one. That was ninety. And of course, within I do believe twenty minutes, we ran into another vendor that yeah. had it complete. But I, when I really looked at that one, the disc, there was a deep scratch so yeah. it wasn't a long scratch but it was deep it was like it was more than a scratch yeah and i so was like i don't know but we that. almost thought about buying it and then trying to trade this while at the convention towards something else in the end i'm happy we didn't because of that scratch and also do i need the manual no i want to play the game first and foremost so that's and, fine and we always i'm like this even with this like that sucks. I didn't, I didn't even realize I didn't have a manual. How did I mess that up? I don't know. But if one comes in town and I can trade it up against, yeah. you know, and basically I'm spending more money than what it's worth at that point because yeah. of the exchange and all that stuff. Yeah. But I'll have a complete copy. If, and maybe I won't even like it. I don't know. Who knows? So. And then I spent seventy for that one. Yeah. So I'm on the hunt. We could not find the third one. Didn't. No. Wasn't there. In. Into the new world or in the in the new into the new world? Yeah, so yeah. I'm still in the hunt for that one. So if anybody has a copy they want to sell me, let me yeah. know. I think it's the cheapest of the three. It is the cheapest yeah. of the three. I just kind of gave up on that one at the end of the day because you, the the, the ones I, that were on top of your list, you were striking out on. And I was like, I okay, was we need to put focus into that. Striking out so badly, I was getting frustrated. Yes. There. I couldn't find the games. There's two games in particular I was looking for. I could not couldn't find, find them. them. I wanted to pick up one heavy while I was there. Now I had stupid things on my list. I had uh, Ill Bleed. I had Kuan. I had Rule of Rose. Rose. I had Rose. Did see them. With... You did see Rule of Rose. Yes. Multiple copies. Yes. Seen Kuan. I seen one that was just Looked like the dog ate it. Too. Yeah, it was terrible. Um, um, I don't, I don't recall seeing Ill Bleed at all. No, I don't recall. Seeing and either. I did see Rose in the Twilight, but it was a big box version. It's a PS Vita. I, I hummed and hawed, but I was oh, like, I'm yeah, just gonna pass on that. Too. I would have rather yeah. had just the standalone. I didn't need the big box. But I did leave one off my list that would have been on my list had I remembered. Didn't and this even realize thing. she wanted this until she seen no, it. No, no, I had it in my wish list, but I forgot to add it. Yeah. Blood will tell. Blood now, will tell. our friend, uh, Fresh and Fresh and Mary, Co-op of Nerds, Fresh was talking about this. This one is complete. It's, it's in, a nice copy. It's a yeah. really nice copy. I was lucky. They did have a sticker right here, not on the plastic, but on the oh, actual uh, art. And, you were able and to I was get able to get it off. So... They wanted 400 for this, and I I was like, again, I was like... I'm... I was proud of her because she bartered back and forth. Yeah. Two or three times, and you got them to yeah. knock 100 bucks off. I got it for 300 yeah. I was really, really happy about that. It, this one, I'm so excited to play. You're like trying to find your missing body parts, and you're a samurai, I think, or something. I just remember Fresh talking about it and go, oh my God, that would be a game I would love. So really mm. excited to add that to the collection. And we got one more thing from Retro Beard. Really cool Sega sign. Would have loved to have gotten the, the whole, whole light up thing, box. But we gotta bring we it gotta travel. Yeah. And I did want the Resident Evil with the umbrella. Um, they sold out day one. He, yeah. his By the time day two rolled around, his booth was sparse. He did fantastic business there. And it was well deserved because his signs are amazing. I go into day two. I have two games on the very top of my list: Lufia number one and Breath of Fire number two. Yes. Both. I just want them loose. Yeah. I just want to play them. I just yeah. want to start playing those series. You had picked all this stuff up, and I was still walking around. Still walking for around for like hours. Mm -hmm. It was down to about an hour and a half left, and I'm like literally in panic mode. And I like, can't find it. I can't know. Find it, can't I know. Find it. You ended up finding a vendor with Lufia. There was two vendors with Lufia. There was two? There, there was, was one. one that was complete. Remember we saw that on day one. That was day one, but it was gone after It was two. gone yeah. by day two, but it was also, we didn't want the cardboard. We didn't care about the manual. We just yeah. wanted it loose. The second vendor, on price charting, it was worth $65. She wanted $125. And I was like, I just want this game for my husband. I was shocked I saw it. I offered her this, above price charting. This this was literally 
less than an hour left less to go. Than an less hour than an hour left. you have to go wouldn't budge. No, so I'm like, I... okay, fucking carry it home then if that's what you want to do. Two problems. Didn't know who whose booth it was. They were like w walking around and the little girl said that's my mommy's booth. And I'm now I'm talking with a kid. I was like, well, where's <laughs> your mom? And then she very disinterestingly turned to me and I was like, would you take 80? I offered her like 20 to Fifteen dollars more than price charting? No, one twenty-five. She wouldn't even budge. I was like, "Great, that's yours then." Yeah. I just, I don't get this. If whatever, take it home. I don't care. <sighs> Pretty much. I did care, yeah. but yeah, not enough to overpay for a game. So I didn't get Lufia. Didn't. But happen. I did end up getting Breath of Fire number two. Yes. Now I only found one vendor who had two copies. And he had two copies. <laughs> yes. One on either side of yes. his booth. Yes. Uh, problem was, he wanted $149.99, but yes. this was the booth, if you were there, you will probably know this, they had a buy one, get one 50% off. Yeah. So the games were all marked accordingly. So like, yes. even with the 50% off, you're still not in the price charting range. You're not, you're close. You're close. But you're not. You're so, close. Found that, wouldn't budge on the price, said I had to get something to bundle with it. Yeah. And I was looking, and the only thing I found, but was something that I really wanted anyway, was yeah. my favorite NES game, Double Dragon 2, complete in box, everything's in there. We opened it all up yeah. there. Everything's there, so with the two of them, do you remember how yeah. much we paid? Because he paid. had one nineteen ninety nine on the price of this. And like, so 150 and 120, and uh, yeah, uh, you paid 185. So 185. Yeah. So, so I got my Breath of Fire. So now I have all the Breath of Fire. I can actually get into the, that mm -hmm. series, start playing it here, maybe this year. I just remember him turning to me because I was kind of walking around, like within the vicinity, while he was trying to figure out a second game. So I was trying to figure out a second game for him to get, and he he looked at me and he was like 185, and I was like. I don't care whatever you're comfortable with. He's like, no, I want $185, please, because I was carrying the cash in my, like, body purse. So I, I was like, oh, okay, sorry. So I, I pulled so out the money. I did get one more game. Yes, you did. But we were actually sitting down watching wrestling at that point. I was, I had been pretty much, I'm done at yes, that point. I had yeah. looked at other games, but I was like, okay, I'm pretty content with what I have. But... Bone Dan was actually talking because he had scouted out a copy of a game that's on my list. Yeah. And I don't even know where the booth was, but he got up. Oh, he it was over. like literally right across from he the. He came bank back. The he said it's this price. He sh he actually showed it to me and everything, and I uh, we have we had our our uh, our prices uh, in on our list. Yeah. So I knew exactly what it's worth in price charting, and I said. I won't go over this price. 120. He said, I'm so, not going over 120. Yeah. So he went back and they talked. It's it's Alundra. Yeah. Um, I think Mondain was uh, pretty big on trying to get this purchase made for me because it is a working, working design. Designs. Um, he came back again. He's like, okay, do you got cash? I'm like, yeah, I gotta give him cash. Takes off, comes back with the game. He's like, okay, it's cool. So we start doing this little video here, uh, me and Mondain, and talking about it at the table. And he, he basically let it slip that he had paid the extra ten dollars to get it. All right, I didn't even go and pick this one out. I sent my my guy there. Your agent. <laughs> my stick my agent. Did we find out what his commission is? Yeah. What is your commission? Negative ten dollars. Did you spend ten dollars? Yes, I did. You fucking asshole. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so I thought I was getting it for one twenty because he came and got the cash for me. Because it was marked at 154.99. Yeah. So I was gonna ask it to, and I'm like, you would do that. Of course he would. Uh. But what Mondaine doesn't know is, <laughs> you do not leave your bag unattended, unattended at the table yeah. at a convention center because somebody may put ten dollars in, in your bag. bag. So if you're Some wondering, nice like, where did that ten dollars <laughs> come from? <laughs> That's where that came from. <laughs> We, I hope it was your bag. <laughs> <laughs> or somebody went home with ten dollars. Yeah. When we totaled everything up, Scott spent six hundred and sixty-five dollars. Jen spent six hundred and sixty dollars. This was not planned. Now, 
Scott's total value was $620. Well, that we include the figures too. So I should say Scott sent, spent $645 on games and the total value was $620. So you overpaid by $25. I spent $610 on games and my total value was $725 as it is. But I plan on opening the Bloodstained games so it'll be $695. So I made $85 in value. So we spent some money. Insane. She's better at burger than I am. Accidentally so. <laughs> Should mention as well, we also picked up some t-shirts. Um, we didn't pick this one up. Mondane's wife made this for me. She's awesome. We do have other shirts over there that we picked up and were given. Um, you picked up at Siege? Yep. So we will lay those out on the table for you guys all to see. One is from Steve Craig and Leanne. The moving out one. I really, really appreciate that. And they didn't even know Prior Dennis to that, we just started us, that I game. Dennis. Yeah, and then another one's a sweater that says Chicago, and that was a survival pickup because I froze in the Chicago airport and we were there for 11 hours, so it was necessity Yeah. more than uh, desire. So we do have some gifts from friends. Um, they gave, we were kind enough to give us some gifts, and mostly some games and stuff yeah. like that, so we're going to go through them here. Really I feel bad because we just bought Coffee Crisp and... Jim brought junk Ketchup food. Chips. <laughs> I brought junk food. Canadian contraband and yeah, yeah. So that top one here is from Drink and Games with Josh. Fine, whatever. Drink. This is a flask. Yeah. And this is one of those dust sleeves. There, it's mm -hmm. like I, I'm curious. I'm curious because I think he may have like cut one up and then raised it. No, all. I feel like Do they, they come, come like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah. Because you see it underneath too. But anyway, yeah. it's super cool. It's very cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. We're very thankful to have that. Um, these three things are from Sam. Or better known as Samantha Zira on YouTube. She made me this. How cute is that? And then she had another copy of The Lion King, and she gave me that as well. And then we had been talking about uh, four-player games, and we really love New Super, New Mario, Super Mario Bros. on the Wii. Yeah, so this is another uh, couch co-op game that we didn't have. And she picked that up for us, and that was super, super sweet. So Super Mario 3D World, and we'll be sure to be playing that soon enough. Yes, I'll hate all my friends <laughs> Well, you'll kill all your shortly. friends. Yes. Mary literally wanted this. She had two games on her list she wanted, and she was only able to find one of them. And I was going to be damned if she was leaving without it. So you thought you'd go over and help her barter. Did, and tell me this story again of how you helped her with her bar bartering in her price. Well, I didn't do well. She, she it, the, he had it for 25 I think. And price charting said it was about 12 I think that's what it was. And I ended up I ended up paying 20 I right, So my barter, but he wasn't willing to budge. But then. Fresh. Fresh. What? I assume Anne Mary. And both. Mary, obviously. Got Scott Mutant League Hockey. He really, really wanted it. I really wanted it. There was literally only one copy that I had yes. seen there. And that was the one copy. Um, they would not budge on the price at all. You sh Here's the thing. You f you find a game, you're like, okay, well, how much do you got on this? And there's no stickers, no prices on anything. And they get their phone out and they scan the barcode. And I'm like, I know where this is going. Yes. So... Oh, yeah. It says it's worth this. Most, like, of, oh, most of the vendors had prices on them, and yeah. then there would be the odd one that didn't, and they would be scanning games. And I'm like, yeah. 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 So, anyways, I don't. They talked to a different person. I think they said too. They did. Yeah. Because I dealt with a lady, and uh, she yeah. was no lady. <laughs> <laughs> she, she would not budge at all. She wanted 145, and she, nah, I can go as low as 125. And I'm like, for the condition and stuff. Yeah. All I want is the cart, and the cart alone. Mint cart was worth 50. Yeah, <laughs> We're exactly. gonna have to work a little bit here. She's little like, bit. no. no. Yeah. And another fantastic gift. I wanted to buy this and I wanted to get him to sign it. Except he bought it and then signed it. Was from Jay Square Pegs because he worked on this game. And I think he said it was his favorite game he worked on when he was at EA. And I was like, I got him to, I didn't get him to sign the plastic. I got him to sign the, the cover, cover art. Because to me, this, this is never leaving my collection. No. It's mine forever. And our good friend Jay signed it. I wish we would have had more time to spend it. It only has more Jay. value now. 
Exactly. <laughs> In my mind, it has more value now. So that's all our pickups. And we do have some stickers and stuff too. And we're gonna lay those out on the table. YouTuber swag. YouTuber swag. We had the best time at Siege. I didn't oh, want to leave our friends. We'll make plans in the future to go back yeah. to another convention at some point. Yeah. It's just, it's too much fun. If you guys get to go to convention, it's not just about the game purchases. That's why we thought we'd get this video out first and then I would like to have Dennis in because Dennis came with us yes. and talk about our experience and all that stuff uh, at another time. It'll be coming out soon, so look for that. But thank you so much for watching, and so, until next time. No, no, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, no. I want you guys in the comments. Let you know. Let me know what you think of our pickups. Um, think I'm an idiot for uh, missing <laughs> missing the manual on that. Maybe I did notice at the time. I don't know. I drank yeah. a lot while I was down there. <laughs> yes, we did. Um, Shadow Hearts. We need a manual for that. Anybody wants to do a trade of some kind or help Jen find the manual, complete yeah. your game, um, let me know. Let me know what you guys think of our pickups, sir. Yeah. See how we did on our prices, if we could have did better. Some of us could. Until next time. Wait, is there going to be an interruption? No? Okay. Game on.